All right, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing another one of David's famous cooking videos. Cooking segment, cooking segment, cooking segment. We are super excited. We are here in Vietnam and we are going to create some Vietnamese pizza. Yeah. Bong Cheng Nhung. I'm saying it wrong, but that's what we're cooking. But I'm just going to say Vietnamese, Vietnamese pizza. pizza. So right now we are in Ho Chi Minh City and every time we're in a new city, we like to try out a local dish and try to make it ourselves. We like to do that with what we have available. Um, we have an Airbnb that has a tiny little kitchen. Rob, show our tiny little kitchen. And it looks like we have a decent pan and a hot pad here. So that's really all I need to make this recipe. We're making, oh, I can't say it. Ban Cheng Nyung, which is known by Westerners as Vietnamese pizza. It really has very little to do with pizza, except for visually. Um, the ingredients are quite different. It's one of those recipes that's very versatile, so you can put almost anything you want on it. Today, we have chosen the following. We are going to start with our rice paper base. I'll tell you more about that later. We are using quail eggs, which are traditional. We're gonna use, aren't they cute? They're so cute. <laughs> We're gonna use uh, the green onions. We're gonna put on shrimp. Traditionally, they might put on a dried mini shrimp that they would sprinkle over it. And we thought, why, we love real sh uh, full shrimp, so we might not put on the whole thing. And then sometimes people will put on a cheese. We love cheese, so we've decided to put on, um, people often use this laughing cow cheese, which is a very soft, I don't even know what kind of cheese, but it's very soft. What is laughing cow? Is laughing that just cow? a brand? It's a brand, yeah, they have it in the States. They have it all over the place. <laughs> laughing cow. So, and then to top it, we're gonna use a chili sauce, a sweet chili sauce, and a mayonnaise. And some of the recipes I saw said specifically use Kewpie, so we actually bought Kewpie, which is a Japanese style mayonnaise. I'm kind of worried about the mayonnaise. But... I'm... <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, so first I'm going to get our shrimp cooking. Let's get cooking. Okay, we're gonna, I finished chopping up the shrimp after cooking it, and so we're ready to start cooking. I'm using these small sized spring roll wrappers, um, which is just a rice paper. Generally, if you buy these on the street, they're gonna be a, a larger size rice paper. Um, but I knew my pan was gonna be small. So I'm gonna start by putting it in the hot pan and I'm gonna put my quail eggs right on top of it. And then I'm gonna start mixing those around. We want those to cook right on the top. I'm already not doing very well because my rice paper is moving too much. Okay, here we go. So we get that cooking on top of the rice paper. And we're gonna just sprinkle on some of the onions. And I'm gonna put on some of the cheese and let that melt on in. And the rice paper is crisping up underneath. And that's what we want it to be nice and crispy. Extra crispy. And then I'm going to add a couple shrimp onto here. And then when I think it's crispy, and I don't know how to tell yet because I have not made these yet. Okay, I think that's looking I think we could do a little longer to get that crispier. Okay, now I'm gonna move this one to the plate. And 
So these are topped with mayonnaise. Just a little splash of mayonnaise and a little splash of the sweet sauce. Don't want too much. Okay, here it comes. And that is the finished product. We're going to be able to make a bunch more of these, so I'm going to keep cooking. Often when you buy these out on the street, they'll be folded in half when they're given to you. So I'm going to fold this one in half. Ah, and there's a little crunch. I think I can get these crunchier. We'll try that on our next one. The texture is really nice, like that crunchy. Oh, so here we go again. Pan on the heat, rice paper. I'm going to break my eggs into a separate bowl just because it's easier for me to pour them on to the pan. Uh, quail eggs have a thicker membrane inside, so they don't crack quite the same as a... Ooh, and they're pretty and blue inside, too. They don't crack quite the same as a chicken egg. So those are going on. I'm using a fork to stabilize while I mix my eggs on the paper. Spread it out to the sides. Okay, and that's spread out. I can start adding some of my other ingredients, which are the green onion, now when you buy these on the street, and these are really a street food, they're not a restaurant food, so I think there are restaurants that sell these, but really what you're gonna do is walk on the street and find someone, you'll see they have a grill and a bunch of ingredients, and the grill is, so they won't be cooking in a pan, they'll be cooking straight on the, over the charcoals. And that probably helps to make it even crispier. I'm gonna add a little cheese to this one. And when you buy these on the street, I think they're about 50 cents to a dollar American. Um, put the shrimp on. And when we added up the ingredients we bought today, it was about $9 worth. So you can see buying them on the street is a lot easier and cheaper. Although with this $9, I can probably make 10 of these. So in the long run, buy them on the street and they'll probably taste even better. Let's see. I think we're getting crispy. So now I'm going to find my spatula and go right over here. On the plate, I'm going to put on the mayonnaise. And the hot sauce again. That looks good. Fold it in half. Oh, listen to the crack on this one. That one's a lot crispier than my first one. So I'll cook them a little longer. They look like they're going well. I'm gonna pause on my cooking and I think we're gonna give these a try. So as usual, this is my favorite part where David does all the hard work and I just get to eat yummy things. So I'm gonna give this a try. So unlike some of the other videos we've done, we have not tried this on the street yet. Um, we kept meaning to and we just haven't got around to it. So I don't really know what this is supposed to taste like but it seems like it's gonna be really yummy. So it's more like a taco than a pizza, kind of at this <laughs> point, but. Hmm. Okay, so that's a lot of flavor. So I like the crispiness of the wrapper. You can taste the egg. Does it taste different than chicken or would you know it all? 
That like that's a good question. Like I am really curious. I've never had quail legs before, so I'm curious how much different it is. But this is really what I taste is the mayonnaise and the the sweet chili sauce. Mm. Like this isn't something that you would have for dinner, but as a snack or you know just something to eat. Everything in it is really good. Like I can really taste the green chili. And okay, here's the green onion. Shrimp. Green onion, sorry. Hmm. And the shrimp is really nice. I'm not sure I would, like the mayonnaise is a little, <laughs> little strong. We found in a lot of places we visit, they like to use a lot of mayonnaise. Put down the mayonnaise, slowly. And maybe that's a little bit overwhelming, but other than that, this is really yummy. Like I would totally eat this for a snack. Mm. Got a lot of flavor. There's a sweetness to the sauce. I think there's a sweetness to the mayonnaise too. Um, but the, the rice paper wrapper is surprisingly hearty because it's so thin you don't really think of it as being having much substance but it really feels like it's a part of this meal that's great i can see using just about anything you like inside of this and it would work really well and it was simple to make um, as long as you have a nice pan and the ingredients it's very easy to put together and very tasty so thanks for coming to our cooking show uh, where we were cooking Vietnamese pizza, or what was it called? Um, Ban Cheng Nhung. He does that much better than I do. Not very much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a like, okay. and we will see you around next time. <laughs> hmm. I can't wait to make more of these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go cook. Today and not tomorrow